What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Espeon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, put it below in the comment section of the video. And if you like these videos, if they help you out, they get you thinking, drop a like and let's get into it. So Espeon has a wonderful special attack and speed stat. So that's its two best stat. Everything else is kind of just all right. And special defense isn't too bad, but its main stat you want to look at is its special stat and speed. So Espeon can have a choice specs or choice scarf set, mainly for singles, I would say. And it does a little bit uh, of different stuff in double. So let's have a look at singles first. And let's have a look at the abilities and discuss a few things. So it has the ability synchronize and magic bounce. Look, most of the time, people are going to use Magic Bounce because blocking the status moves and bouncing them back is a, uh, a very, very nice thing to uh, to have. Now, as a attacking move for a Psychic, I would, uh, psychic uh, Pokemon, I would have the move Psychic, or you could have Psy Shock. It sort of depends what you want on it, right? So maybe if you had something that was very special defensive, Psy Shock would be better. And that would give you that would give you a way at least to hit a very very special defensive Pokemon uh, physically. So that's sort of up to you, uh, what you've got on your team there. Uh, Shadow Balls for coverage. So any other opposing Psychic type Pokemon or you know stuff like that. Uh, we've got Trick on there. Trick with Choice Specs or Choice Scarf is very good. Um, you could uh, get rid of a annoying uh, stalling Pokemon, shut them down by tricking them an item. And then freeing yourself up to go for your attacking moves. Same with Specs or Scarf. And the other move I've got on there is Dazzling Gleam, which is nice. That allows you to hit Dark-type Pokemon, which is going to be very, very handy. Also, I would probably go Terra Fairy as well. I quite like that because um, that gets you around any um, Dark-type moves aimed at you. And that's going to you know, make them not very effective and give you a pretty good av advantage there. Um, for a Terra, a Terra Fairy. That's probably the best type of Terra Fairy for Espeon. Um, you could go, once again, you could use Psychic as well if you want like more power out of its Psy Shock or Psychic or whatever. Um, now, another move, you, I don't know if this is going to be in the game, but I'm just going to say this for DLC 2 wise. Um, I'm pretty, like, ex, ex, I'm pretty sure it gets, should get, if, if Expanding Force comes back in the game. You'll be able to use that move. I, like I would use that move, uh, of course, so, uh, over that. But yeah, that's just if it comes back into the game. I'm just gonna. I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but that's another option there for sure. So the DLC two is coming up in about like just under a month's time. So I thought that was worth mentioning. So yeah, uh, that's what I would do. We're talking about Terra's won't we? So basically, your weaknesses here. Uh, what I'm thinking about another good Terra. Uh, to run on this, if you let's say you weren't running Trick, you were like, I just want to have attacking moves, right? You could have Terra Blast, and instead of uh, Fairy, I would have Terra Fighting because Terra Fighting is actually pretty nice. This allows you to hit Dark type Pokemon, which are going to be very nice, and Steel too. Now, Espeon struggles against Steel type Pokemon to do any damage to them, so that's another way of hitting them. Another one you could have is Terra Fire as well. Uh, that allows you to those uh, fire poker and bug at the same time, like Sizzle. Sizzle's a really, really good counter to Espeon, but if you've got Terra type fire, it is going to get cooked. So that is a great way to get around that. So that would be my suggestions for a Specs or Scarf Espeon. Now, you could possibly use this, and I'm not saying you couldn't use this in doubles because it still would work. Because Dazzling Gleam um, works very nicely on doubles as well in Terra Fairy. So absolutely, you could go about using this one in doubles. So. We'll get to that. So the next sort of set you could use here is a Calm Mind Espeon. So there are a couple of way, like a couple of moves and ways you can use this. So with the EV spread, like the last one, we've got Max Special Attack here and Max Speed Tim and Nature. That's going to be what you're going to use most of the time because Espeon, like it, it's it's good to have uh, it to be a very very fast Pokemon because it it does not take hits very very well at all, especially on the physical side, right? Now. With this one, I've got a Magic Bounce. Obviously, that's the best ability for it. Uh, Carmine, Psy Shock. Now, it does get Draining Kiss too. Now, Draining Kiss isn't all that bad after a Carmine and allows you to like Dark-type Pokemon, and it heals you as well. So you could potentially have Life Orb and Draining Kiss, and then you could have Terra, Terra Blast Fighting. It's hit uh, Dark-type and Steel-type Pokemon, which is... Uh, you know, pretty good there. And then you can pick your time to go for Draining Kiss. So just another option if you don't want to run Dazzling Gleam. 
Um, or you could go Terra Fairy uh, Draining Kiss, but then you'd have to get rid of Terra Blast. So just uh, maybe another option. Or if you if you like Draining Kiss, you could have ooh, you could have Big Root as well as a uh, as an item to heal you up a little bit more. So it's going to get that 1.3 times uh, from the Draining move. So Draining Kiss. So they're going to stack, which will give you a lot of... You know, that's going to give you a lot of recovery there because that ba Draining Kiss already has a base of 75. So... You will have a little bit of a power drop there once you lose the life orb. That's the only thing. So just something to think about. Uh, or you could just have Dazzling Gleam. You could just do that and like Dazzling Gleam and then Terra Fighting. You know, that could that could work. Or Terra Fairy. You know, um, that's another one too. You know, I would... And then you could get rid of Terra Blast. And then give it... Uh, Shadow Ball as well. Uh, that You could go with that. So Shadow Ball or... I've even found you could do something like Hyper Voice on there and Throat Spray as well. So you could potentially go Calm Mind then Throat Spray or you've got to move it around Subdue. So that's a little bit more gimmicky. Like you're going to be using like uh, Psychic, Psyshock or Dazzling Gleam most of the time anyway. But just something else to uh, think about there for sure. Now, Espeon does have the potential to be uh, pretty good at setting up screens. And it gets Reflect and Light Screen too. And it's speedy. This doesn't mean it... Uh, it has to be like bulky or anything like that. Um, it can still be a special, a strong special attacker. So if you have Psychic on there and like say, for example, Terra Blast Fighting, that gives you like almost near perfect coverage there to hit virtually everything and still set up your screens and stuff like that. And you can set up Reflect the first time. That'll make you defensively bulky and you'll be able to actually be able to live a hit there. Um, and you've got Magic Bounce as well, which is a very nice move, especially at the start. More, this is more... Magic Bounce um, is very, very good at like, bouncing back entry hazards as well and stuff like sticky webs and annoying paralysis and stuff like that. So that could be quite good. You could... Say you had a, you were facing like a Garganacle lead, you could just swap it in there and you're expecting like a Stealth Rock or something like that, um, you know, for example. But yeah, uh, the, the, the fact that here remains... Would it be better for Espeon to be a sweeper and doing damage rather than setting up screens, right? It, it, I feel like it, it, it can definitely work, but are you wasting its role there? Like, does another Pokemon do that role better and leave Espeon as a speedy special attacker only? You know, that's that's something uh, to think about there too. Uh, so sweeping EVs, of course, to the nature. Light class item to make the light screen reflect last eight turns. And yeah, that's another way you could possibly run it. Uh, I've even I even seen like you, people just foregoing uh, that and just giving a morning sun too to keep setting them up. Uh, I don't think Espeon really has the bulk to do that unless you're facing a special attacker. But you know you don't know who you're gonna face and stuff like that. So yeah, so just another way you could run Espeon. Let's have a look at some doubles and VGC. I know we've already talked about doubles and stuff already, but let's have a look at uh, this one here. So. Dazzling Gleam is a great move for doubles because it's going to hit, well, for Espeon. Uh, it gives it a way to hit both of the opponents and uh, Pokemon. And you can go Terra Type Fairy, which works very well for that. And you resist um, Dark, which is really, really, and um, yeah, stuff too like that. So, yeah, that's going to be very good. You've got Psychic, uh, Calm Mind, and Power Gym actually isn't all that bad either as a coverage move. Or Shadow Ball. Um, that's another one you could put on there too. Or you can just put Protect on there. Protect is another, definitely another good option. Um, as for item, you could have Citrus Berry, Agway Berry, depending on what you want there. Another item could be Focus Sash too, because as you're probably well aware, uh, Espeon is very, very frail on the defensive side. Now, a good partner for this, you could have... This is, yeah, it's, say for example, Indeedy, right? Um... So if you've got Indeedee and it's got the um, Psychic Surge up there, right? That's going to be pretty good because once the... Once the... Um, or terrain, what it, if you've got like Psychic Surge going, right? If you've got that with your Espeon, that'll block any priority moves. So it's an example like Sucker Punch, Fake Out, like annoying stuff like that that will hit Espeon very, very hard. And then you could... Once again, I'm not sure if this is going to be the game, but you could have expanding force as well if they do bring that back instead of Psyche. So, well, you know, that, that's just an example there too. So, not a bad partner Pokemon, uh, indeedy. Um, something else you can do as well for Espeon. Uh, I have seen this a little bit. You can have, like, Trick Room on there too. Now, Trick Room... You could have a Trick Room team, or you could just put Trick Room on there to reset Trick Room. 
So that's another way of, uh, say if you versus a Trick Room team, your team's quite fast. Uh, you can actually reset Trick Room with having Trick Room on there. So that's just another thing you can think about too, because it does get that, which is, uh, you know, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that's uh, that's not a bad, uh, not a bad team option there. Um, Umbreon's actually a pretty good partner for Espeon as well, because it covers a lot of his weaknesses, uh, except for Bug, of course. But uh, yeah, that's that's not too bad, uh, sort of partner there. Uh, let me think of some other, like Grim Snarl. That's not too bad. As some uh, as some partners there, being a Dart type Pokemon, uh, that could be a very nice partner. That could, you know, that could be the one setting up Reflect and Light Screen and stuff like that. While Espeon uh, attacks with Dazzling Gleam and stuff. Now another decent one. I'm trying to think of some other good ones here. Uh, let's check out. Uh, let's check out some Dark Pokemon. Okay, we'll bring out some dark Pokemon here. Uh, you've got King Toilet. That's always a good one. You've got Ting Lu, Samurott. They're very good. Cham Pao. So that they obviously are going to work very nicely uh, in, you know, getting around some of those. A Roaring Moon's a good one too. That, um, I was going to say Sableye as well. That's not too bad, like Sableye. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few Pokemon that could uh, definitely work you know, well with Eevee, whether you're running you know, singles or doubles and you know stuff like that. But yeah, uh, just some more options here. I don't think Helping Hand's going to be too much of a help on the pun there, but you're mostly going to be attacking with Dazzling Gleam, right? I, I don't see Espeon getting a huge amount of like use and stuff like that, but mainly you're going to be using uh, the way to play that, just Terra Fairy and Dazzling Gleam and your know, Calm Mind. Uh, maybe you could have like a Follow Me Pokemon or a Rage Powder Pokemon uh, next to you um, to sponge those attacks while you set Calm Mind up. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's another option for sure. Now, this could possibly run a stored power set. It is a psychic move. Um, and you've got Calm Mind as well. So Calm Mind's very, very good for stored power. Uh, stored power starts off at 20 base power and gets a boost of 20 every single time. So with Calm Mind, that's going to give it an instant. Like, that's going to make it 60 after one Calm Mind. So after two, it's going to be very, very powerful. And you've got Dazzling Gleam, of course, for coverage. And, you know, Psych Up's actually not bad. And Mirror, Mirror Head. This is more probably designed for doubles. Definitely designed for doubles here. Um, you could actually you know, copy any boost there to have them added to your stored power. And you've got Psych Up as well. So if the opponent does set up a Calm Mind, you could Psych that up as well. So this is a, just another way of, like, increasing the power of stored power, right? That could be interesting. And, and, you know, other stuff like that. Uh, just sweeping EVs, max special attack, and max speed here, and timid nature. So, I gave it Terra Psychic. You could give it Terra, uh, Terra Fighting or Fire or whatever like that. Or you could, I just gave it Psychic because you want to be hitting as hard as possible with stored power. But just another one. I think it's better suited to something like um, Espartha. It's probably better because it's got speed boost. But it doesn't mean you, could, uh, you can't give it a try. Now, Espeon has a terrible attack stat, which is why I want to do a physical one. So here we go, people. We've got some memes here for you. So uh, Espeon, like all the evolutions, basically gets the move Curse. So I thought you could do like this Curse set, like a uh, uh, physical uh, Curse set that flinches. So we've got Curse. Uh, Zen Headbutt for flinching, Bite for flinching, and Terra Blast fighting just for coverage. Now, Curse obviously isn't going to be very good on a speedy Pokemon, so that's why I've given it White Herbs. So that's going to uh, remove Curse's speed drop for one turn and give you a little bit of extra in attack because 65 base attack is absolute garbage. Uh, we've got 110 base in speed, uh, which is still pretty good. You could go Jolly if you're worried about speed and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, um, you know, Jolly or Adam. But I don't, I don't think too many people are going to run a physical Espeon, right? Another move you can give it is like Psychic Fangs. But I feel like, yeah, you don't really have like the flinching of Zen Headbutt. So it's probably not going to work quite as well. But that's another way you could run a Espeon. Let's have a look at some more movesets for it anyway. I thought I'd slide in the Cursed Trash meme there. So let's bring up some of these uh, move options here. Okay, we get status move. So, yeah, we got our baton. It ha Once again, they, they've all got baton passer. Baton passer, calm mind is very, very good there. Um, we've gone over morning sun and stuff like that for like a sc uh, screens user. We've gone over reluctant light screen already. Uh, there's probably zero need to have a rest. Uh, raw, not really. Uh, it does get thunder wave, which is all right too, and yawn. But I just don't think Espeon is that cut out too much for a support Pokemon. Um, I don't think it's like bulky enough, right? Um, some other you know, moves it does get here. It does get gravity, which is kind of cool. So 
I know that gravity is very, very gimmicky, but like gravity could be really cool. So if you've got a, uh, a team that has very inaccurate moves, like this could be a, a speedy gravity setter. So like you could, you could still have a built up. Um, you could have a built up as a sweeping set, just like a normal one here. So like psychic or psy shock, whatever. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, Terra, we'll do Terra Fairy, right? Let's see, if, actually, let's see if we can, like, Magic Bounce. Let's see if we can get, like, any, what's its most inaccurate moves here? It's, like, special. Yeah, Hyper Beam. So, not so much for Espeon itself, but for its partners, right? So, you could, I'd Sash this, so that way you could get the, uh, Gravity up here. So, you've got Gravity, and then you've got Dazzling Gleam. So, you could just partner with some crazy powerful Pokemon, like, you know, Zap Cannon or Blizzards or Hydra Pumps and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that would really benefit your team. So it's a speedy gravity user. Uh, just just bear in mind there'll be no ground immunities and stuff like that. So there you go. And it gives a, a 1.67 times accuracy, which is going to definitely increase a lot of, you know, around those 80 accuracy moves and stuff like that. Even like 50% accuracy moves, they're going to have a very, very good chance of hitting. So just another thing you could do here. Um, so that was pretty cool. Gravity. I always like to explore every little bit of a Pokemon, right? Not just like the, uh, the first couple of things you see. Uh, what's his other moves? We do have some fake tears. Like, fake tears could be interesting on, like, doubles, maybe. Um, instead of Calm Mind, you could go fake tears. But that would probably, that could cause a swap. Um, in Luzlan, in prison as well. So if you do come across, like, I don't know, like, another... Say you were to come across another Espeon, like most of the time they're going to have Psychic and Shadow Ball, so you could completely wall them with Imprison. That could be funny. Uh, it does get Skill Swap. So if you've got some shenanigans here, you might be able to um, Skill Swap of a Magic Bounce to a Pokemon. Say a Pokemon... Say a bulky boosting Pokemon you've got, or something that doesn't want to be status at all. That could be a cool thing to do. Um, and you could have like... How about eject button? You can have like eject button. Like I'm just trying to come up with something here. So like this could be singles or doubles, by the way. So we've got psychic, uh, let's do shadow ball and dazzling, right? Yeah. So you could terra. We'll just do terra fairy because that, that's probably the best. Terra fighting or fairy, I reckon, is the best on Espeon. If you've got any other options for uh, Espeon that I haven't mentioned for terra, pl please let me know. But I, I feel like I've covered the best one. So. Yeah, so we got this Espeon, right? You could skill swap, and then you get ejected out of the battle. And then when, once you bring it back in, you've got Magic Bounce again. And the Pokemon you pass it to with skill swap would uh, still have Magic Bounce. So another way of giving, like, a, I don't know, you could... I don't know, like a terrible ability Pokemon, maybe a Slaking or something like that. You could give it Magic Bounce, you know? Like, anything like that could be really, really cool. And, and you know, Jack Button is a really cool item, too, like, when used correctly. So, yeah, just another way you could run uh, Espeon. Uh, depending on what your team is, of course, there. Okay. I think we went over all the status moves there. Yeah, we pretty much went over absolutely everything. Now, it does get Psychic Terrain too, but I don't think you could... I, I mean, I don't. I think indeed, like having another Pokemon set it up is better like Indeedy, but if you really wanted to, you can. Um, it does get Trick Room. Now, I don't even... You, you, you might be able to run this. In, let, you know what? Let's see if we can do a Trick Room SVR. So, I mentioned before about having Trick Room and how you could reset Trick Room, but you could possibly run it under Trick Room too. So, we're going to have Quiet Nature, Magic Bounce, uh, Max Health, and Max Special Attack. So, you want to run a bulky, right? And that's that's a lot of Special Attack. That's, you're not playing any games there. So, you could give it like Room Service. That could be a good way of doing it. So, definitely, you got that Room Service going on. Or you can give it... Um, uh, you could give it uh, Iron Ball as well, so whatever kind of one you want to go for, whether you want a uh, you know a consumable item or not. And then you could give it. I'm thinking of like maybe flinching moves here. Nah, it doesn't really have anything like too different than what you. It probably it's just its normal moves. Yeah, I just give it its normal moves. Um, another interesting move is Future Sight as well. It is actually pretty strong. That's actually like you know. Quite a powerful move there. The problem is with the delay on it. Um, so you could have like Dazzling, uh, Psychic, and uh, you know Shadow Ball. So you could have something like that and Terra, Terra Dazzling Gleam. That would probably work the best for doubles and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, that's a, that's definitely another way you could uh, you could run it there under Trick Room. I, I probably wouldn't run it like this because it's, it's probably a little bit too fast. But if you want to run it on Trick Room, you could. This could give you a uh, 
No, definitely, uh, a definite shot at it, right? Yeah, so... No, we'll go, we'll go with room, room service, that one. So, yeah, there, there you go. A trick room, uh, a trick room slow espion. That's on a uh, espionage mission. So, let's have a quick more look here at... Let's have a look at its special attacking moves now, if we've got any other sort of things here. So... We went over all of these. I, I did mention Future Sight then. So you might be able to run some sort of Protect and Future Sight. Say if you really got your sights on it. <laughs> Sorry, I did that. But yeah, uh, you could have something like this, right? Um, this is a Pip Knight special, by the way. Uh, you, you'll love this. So we had Ring Target. So I ran this before. Like, just for a bit of fun. This is a, obviously, this is a gimmicky set, right? We, we can all see that. Um... But yeah, this is a set that I like to run. It was fun. So we, like, you set the future side up and then say like, oh, I'll bring a dark type Pokemon in. So you stall out a turn. And then just before it hits, you go for trick and trick them ring target. And that way the uh, the holders immunities are gone. So you'll be able to go for uh, at least a neutral damage. Well, you'll be able to hit the dark type, right? Uh, with a psychic type move. Uh, ring target is a really cool item. Then you got Dazzling Gleam as well for coverage. So... There you go, a, uh, a complete Pimp Knight special there for you. But I think that's about it for Espeon. Um, I'll just show you its physical moves because they are pretty bad. And you're probably not ever going to use them. But there's its physical moves. It's interesting, it does get Psychic Fangs too, which is pretty cool. But apart from that, nothing you know, super amazing. I, I did some physical sets already for you. But uh, to sum this up, uh, I think Espeon is a great... Speedy special attacker with a great ability uh, preventing any status moves, which is going to be very, very nice. So you can sort of hide it in the middle of your team and swap it in um, or just leave with it or whatever like that to prevent any status. And then you've got like a high special attack. Uh, so, you know, very, very nice psychic Pokemon. Pretty good coverage of moves to hit virtually everything. And in doubles, it's got a nice spread move there for and a nice terror to back it up to. And a nice special attack stat. So I think it'll be viable on uh, any team, really. It's not definitely not overpowered, but it's a, uh, a very handy poker one that can be a good mid to late game sweeper as well, or get some you know solid damage uh, with dazzling gleam and uh, well, terra fairy and stuff like that. So yeah, people, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I'll be back with I think we got like Flareon, Glaceon, Leafeon left. So I'll do them the next couple of days there. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoy this one, people, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.